In today's video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to you about whether or not you qualify for the third stimulus check in the amount of $1,400. So you probably clicked on this video because you want to learn a little bit more about whether or not you qualify for the third stimulus check. Hi, my name is Andrew. I'm an attorney here at Mulai Law, where we help entrepreneurs just like you start your businesses without dealing with the complicated legal forms. Our done for you service is backed by over 2,350 five star Google reviews, and we can help you start your business too. Now, before I start talking about whether or not you qualify for the stimulus check, please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Taking those actions truly helps our channel grow. It allows us to continue producing more content, more information in which other entrepreneurs can learn from. So let's go ahead and talk about the purpose of this video, whether or not you qualify for the third stimulus check. To give you a little bit of history, the US government has already provided one stimulus check, a second stimulus check, and now they're providing a third stimulus check. The qualifications for the third stimulus stimulus check is not the same as the first and second stimulus check. That is something important to keep in mind. Recently, the third stimulus check was delivered to approximately 127 million people, either through direct deposit or through mail. Do keep in mind that there is a third wave of stimulus checks being sent out to approximately 30 million people. You may have qualified for the first stimulus check. In fact, you may have qualified for the second stimulus check. However, the qualifications for the third stimulus check have changed. So in order to learn whether or not you qualify for the third stimulus check, make sure you continue to watch through. As I mentioned, there are new qualifications for the third stimulus check. Some of these different qualifications include age, citizenship, the amount of income that you bring in, as well as your current tax status. Now, a lot of people will qualify for the third stimulus check, but it really depends on the income that was earned from 2019 to 2020. Now, the most important factor that determines whether or not you qualify for the third stimulus check is going to be your amount of income. So let's go ahead and talk about the first qualification. As an individual, your adjusted income must be less than $80,000 in order to receive any amount of payment. When I say any amount, that means that you will have qualified for any amount in regards to the scope within $1 to $1,400. Now, if you are the head of household, and that is how your taxes are filed as head of household, then in order to qualify for the third stimulus check, you must make less than $120,000 after your adjusted gross income has been calculated. Now, you may be asking yourself, do my children qualify for the third stimulus check? The answer to this question is yes, as long as the guardians of that dependent make less than the previous amounts that I mentioned earlier. For an individual, it would have to be less than $80,000. For a head of household, it would need to be less than $120,000. Now, what happens if you have a family that has a mix of US citizenship? Whether or not you're in a position where you have a family that is composed of US citizens as well as non-US citizens, you may still qualify for the third stimulus check as long as you meet all the other requirements and you meet all other qualifications. A US citizen that is living abroad may still qualify for the third stimulus check as long as all other qualifications are met. It's also important to note that incarcerated individuals, people who are in jail, prison, they also may qualify for the third stimulus check. Now, the last point I wanna make here is if you are a non-US citizen, you will not qualify for the third stimulus check. Now, with that being said, if you happen to enjoy this video, if you happen to learn something new, if you happen to gain value, please make sure you hit the like, subscribe, as well as the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. 
The purpose of these videos are to help you move forward in your lives. And so with that being said, it's time to invest in yourself. It's time to rise. If you would like to learn a little bit more about LLCs, DBAs, sole proprietorships, make sure you go ahead and watch one of these videos here. See you in the next video.